What's up you guys, this is Jay Young on 2 back with another video and yes, in this video today we're going to be discussing Jalen Green. And Jalen Green is one of the best scorers in the entire NBA draft. Really, as far as offensive talent is given, he is probably the best player in the draft in that category. Now when we look at Jalen Green as a player, Jalen Green took a different path than all of his other peers by deciding to go into the G League and signing with the Ignite team, which is a developmental team for young NBA players as well. And Jalen Green joined that NBA team and the pursuit of becoming an NBA player. He made history for what he did during that time because this is something that hasn't really been done in a long time. Players not going to college and still getting into the NBA just like how he did and taking a much different route than other NBA players. But what Jalen Green did was something that was really good at the time and it showed in his one season in the G League and the 15 games they played in the bubble. He averaged 18 points, 4.2 rebounds, and just about three assists per game in his one season in the G League, which was very impressive, especially when you take into the account that he's basically still playing against pro level competition compared to his other peers who are in college and they're playing against a really good competition as well but he's still playing against guys who have been in the NBA and things of whatnot in that nature so for him to have a season like that in just his one year is really good and he showed us how talented of a player he is and when you look at him and his game he, he's not really a point guard especially when you're looking at his frame he's more of a shooting guard a wing player small forward who is more than capable of being a potential great two-way player one day in the NBA and when I look at his game overall yes on the defensive end of the basketball court his game can use some work on that end but he did have a pretty good year on that end as well he was a decent defender it's more so for him about getting bigger and his weight he's only 178 pounds he has a pretty small frame but when you look at his game on that end of the court he is a great person when it comes to getting steals and especially in transition and blocking out passes he could use work on more of his lateral quickness because he definitely lets defenders just blow by him at times on the defensive end of the basketball court. There's little things, of course, he has to work on on that end. But overall, he has the potential to also be a really decent defender in the NBA one day. And when you look at his offensive game, his offensive game speaks for itself. This is really why so many people are intrigued by Jalen Green as a prospect. I mean, when you look at his athleticism alone, he's really the most athletic player in this entire NBA draft and he uses that athleticism in many of his skill sets I mean when you look at him and his shot creation ability this guy can create a shot literally every single place on the basketball court not only that but at times he's a really good three-point shooter he's not that good on the catch and shoot but he mostly likes to isolate and create his own shot from three and that's something he'll definitely have to work on when it comes to catching and shooting but i mean he can get to the rim he's a very unorthodox finisher he can finish really well around the rim and he can really just attack the rim at will and even while defenders are near him but sometimes he has to work on his decision making and things and whatnot when it comes to attacking the rim and his ball handling ability he loses the ball at times on when he's deciding to drive in and make plays at the rim and just the little things in this game that he has to work on but when you look at his game overall this guy is a borderline all-star level player i believe that he can average close to like 17 to 18 points a game in just his rookie season alone and I mean, when you look at the Houston Rockets and the situation that they're in and the guys who they've drafted in the NBA draft as well, I mean, this team is going to be a very talented team. And you look at, they already have John Wall still, they have Christian Wood, and I don't expect those guys to be there for a very long time, especially Christian Wood. Add on this young core that the Houston Rockets are creating already with the guys who they drafted, especially in this year's NBA draft. This team is very, very talented. The Rockets, their, their future is going to be really built around Jalen Green because he has the potential to, as I said, be an all-star level player. This guy, when you look at his game, I mean, his athleticism, his ability to create his own shot, his offensive game, he's a three-level scorer. He can score pretty much at every single level on the basketball court. And of course, he has a certain, a few amount of weaknesses in his game that he's going to work on. But I mean, he's only 19 years old and to be this good already at his age is very, very impressive. And, you know, he has a lot of really good traits in his game that's definitely going to help his career really 
grow and become better because he's already this level of a player as a scorer especially and he's playing at a very high level already in the g league as well and transitioning that into the nba this guy is going to be a very fun player to watch when he's officially in the nba not as i said earlier in the video he's not really a point guard he's more of a shooting guard i mean he he's not really the best playmaker and that's something that he's definitely got to work on in his game over time and that is being a better facilitator he can definitely pass really well off the pick and roll and get guys in open situations but he's not at times really he's really a lazy passer at times and that's something on this game that he's definitely gonna have to work on but really when you look at it overall the two things he really has to work on on his game is just his overall defense ability and his stature his size he's not really the biggest player on the defensive end of the basketball court and he's definitely going to work on you know his lateral quickness especially on that end and when you look at his offensive game he just has to work on turning over the ball less and really working on his facil facilitating skills his playmaking ability and to really just work on those two areas of the game but when you look at his his overall game now i mean he has the talent he has the skill to be a very good scorer and player in the nba with the level of competition especially and the way the nba is going now his game fits perfectly in this modern nba i mean he has just a few weaknesses in his game that he's gonna have to work on but you know the, people really should look at him and really just see the talent he really has this guy is going to be one of the most talented players in this draft. I see why many people were saying as well that he had the potential to really be the number one pick in the NBA draft. But him going to this Houston Rockets team is definitely going to be really interesting to see how this all fits out though. You know, I'm really curious to see if it does work or not, especially when we look at the talent and the, all the guards who they already have on this team as well. It's going to be really interesting to see. But I really, definitely do expect that Jalen Green is will be a very, very talented player in the NBA he has the offensive game he just has to work on some of these small minor areas in this game to really just take off but I hope you guys enjoyed this brief video today on Jalen Green this guy is a very good player he definitely will be a great player in the NBA as well but I hope you guys have a great day don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more basketball content each and every single week have a great day peace